welcome back guys. We're continuing on with the mission. I forget what the mission was called, but we're continuing on with this mission. So we've got one more civilian to rescue. And then we gotta neutralize everyone. Okay, let's go. Okay, up top. Um... Moving! Yep, we need to- we need to get that guy, we need to find him. <laughs> this is starting to become a pain in the bum. I'm Overwatch on it. you. Can we get you up top? We need to get you up top, we need to get up top. Get up the top now. and then reload. Can we do that in the same turn? <laughs> Hopefully. Yes, we can. Okay, reload. Rock and roll. She's still panicked. It's really annoying. Oh, he's overwatched. No, oh, we don't want to take out the zombie. Oh my god. Okay, panic removed. Good, good, good. Quickly get you up top too. Moving to designated position. <gasps> I need some help. He seriously shot through the wall? What? I'm on That's the move. ludicrous! Okay, we need, need to heal her again. Go heal. That was probably a bit silly. We should have moved him over there and flashbanged. Okay. Overwatch. Overwatch again. Get you. Can we go here. Yep, go there. Moving to designated position. Flank that bloody sectoid. He seriously just shot through a wall. That is unbelievable. That shouldn't be able to be done. Negative ammo, I'm spent. I'll get you to come around Moving here and use your pistol to finish position. him off. Oh no! No! Oh, really? You're supposed to be able to shoot the sectoid. Oh man. That wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't look properly there. Re aim at another thing. I've got to kill this sectoid. Oh, what? That's bull. They can attack through a wall. Oh, really? No, thank you. Rock and roll. Come on, they shouldn't have been able to attack through a wall. Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> Move Closing you there. On target position now. Kill that fucking sectoid. Jesus. Ah, oh, man. Enemies Didn't down. realize they could hit you through a wall. Now I do. Okay. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional oh, contacts. Really? Is clear. Man, come status on. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. Ah, oh, damn it. Just had to kill that sectoid, and that was it. We got that other dude wounded as well. Silly. 
Oh well. A grenadier should be back soon. That'll be handy with the extra long grenades and extra grenades. Sorry, Amelia with the most shot percentage. And also the most average cover bonus. And also the most enemies killed. Okay. Let's see who got promotions, if anyone got promotion. Gravely wounded and gravely wounded. Great. Okay, so our ranger got a promotion. We can either go Phantom, when the squirrels revealed this resource remains concealed, or Blade Master. Go Blade Master with this one. We'll build an assault, I think, because we've already got a scout in our other ranger. So we'll start building an assault class. Please be a grenadier. Yes! <laughs> Just what we needed, Luca. Just what we needed. We didn't need those gravely wounded though, that's not good. So we've got some advent trooper corpses, sectoid corpse, and a faceless corpse. Ugh. They dissolve into a foul smelling paste really quickly. Not very good. Now we face a specimen capable of mimicking the human form at will. We come to understand how it is that they em emulate us so effectively. Perhaps we can develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. Hello, Commander. Cool, so our monthly income has increased by 15 for that. Our soldier's been shaken. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. So our armory for our soldiers. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded. Man. Then a sh whoa, lightly wounded one day, four days, 18 days, 10 days. Wow. Okay. So our healer's out. <laughs> That's no good. Hello, Commander. Okay, so... Got a bit of stuff accumulating. Items, flashbangs, smoke, no. Can build nano vests, but I think we should keep our supplies. Get facilities yet? No. Need more supplies for that as well. As far as I can tell, advanced technology, along with most of what we've seen going on in the city centers, is based on variations, and in some cases improvements, of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we've got a few guys just hanging out in the common room. Anyone in the bar? Ah, we're getting our drink on, are we? <laughs> okay, after hard mission, a bit of a drink would go a long way. Commander, after our recent success, members of resistance in the Western US have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Okay. Oh, shivers. That moves a bit quicker than I expected. Okay, let's go grab Avenger our supplies new first. Port. Go 
grab our supplies. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Okay. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Okay, thank you. 168 supplies, and we can recruit some new staff in the recruitment. Commander, we have intel oh, suggesting man. the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay. So, we've received intel regarding the aliens' current activities. Preparations to fold these dark events before they are enacted are already underway. Counter operations will be available soon. So the aliens will increase their strength of encryption, increasing all intel costs by a hundred percent. We do not want that. <laughs> or advent stifles movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies. We don't want any of those. Oh man. They're both really bad. Less supplies or a lot more intel Commander. to the Resistance has a Find hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Okay. Let's try to finish off this service. These depot. findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Cool. Forty two intel out of that. Let's research the faceless. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. So we've got two scientists. Although I had One realistic engineer. expectations so as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Commander? <laughs> I like the banter that happens. It's pretty cool. Nice little addition, I think. Okay. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. We really need these supplies, so... Debris cleared. Extra 22 supplies. We can build a relay there, but we really, really want this advanced warfare center first. Yeah, we need that advanced warfare center. Really, really need that advanced warfare center. Actually, let's just go have a look at who we've Commander, got that we I can recruit. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. So... Number of recruits that we can recruit if we want for 25 supplies. At the moment, I think we're good. And let's 
get you excavating some more. Okay, we really, really need to find some more engineers and fast. Finish off this stand. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? That is a very good question. It'd be very interesting if there was pe other species out there like that. So a mimic beacon. That's, I believe that's very handy. Generates a holographic decoy for enemy attacks for one turn. It's deployed like a grenade thrown to the site where the decoy will appear. So it can attract fire. That seems very, very handy. Um, we really want to mag weapons, but... Quite a few days. The advent Let's offices the advent appear to officer. be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Ah. Let's get back to scanning these supplies. Strategic resource. Yay! <laughs> the shell of a bombed out service depot for aircraft is all that remains in this area. After putting some effort in the excavation, we're able to recover materials from the inside of the structure. We still have our supply drop. So let's quickly get Avenger over to our supply drop course. before it disappears. Because I believe these do disappear if you don't get to them in time. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant similar in design to the unit I extracted from the commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory, advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. That is very interesting. Use the Skulljack item on an Advent Officer in combat to gain access to the Alien Communications Network. So we need to access the network now. Construct the Proven Ground Facility, complete the Skulljack project, use the Skulljack on an Advent Officer.
Okay, very interesting. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Okay, so, Proving Ground, an experimental workspace where Shen can test and produce new unique types of ammo, grenades and armor. So we need to get to this as quickly as we can too, so we can be researching here. Fire out, man. There's a lot to get done. Okay, what do we want to research now then? Let's let's get mag weapons. I, I know I'll it's going to take a long time, but Commander, I'll contact you when uh, I have a full actually... report available. No, yeah, let's just go for that. We need, we really need to upgrade our weapons as well. Okay, so can we build the facility yet? We can. Let's get our advanced warfare facility. Advanced commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Okay, so we need to decrease that. We need more engineers. We really, really need more engineers. Okay, guys. So, in the next episode, we're going to go searching after some more engineers. So... You've done a hell of a job keeping this ship together, Doctor. It's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone <laughs> could get this heap airborne again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. Good little chatter. Okay, so I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a great day, and I'll see you later.